a photographer in New York takes a photo of the Brooklyn Bridge. His camera is set up with TruePix software, which is running a C2PA implementation. So as soon as he takes the photo, it securely records all of the photo's provenance information into a manifest and binds it together with the photo using a tamper-evident cryptographic signature. The photo lands on the desk of an editor for the New York Times. They want to use it for an article they're writing, so inspect the manifest. Happy with the authenticity of the photo, they open it in Photoshop to prepare it for publish. The changes they make are automatically captured by Photoshop and recorded into a new manifest, which is added to the photo's provenance chain. It is now ready for publishing. Someone downloads the published photo from the New York Times and decides to edit it further before posting on social media. The provenance information is always present, locked to the photo ready to be inspected on any platform anywhere. Every bit of its journey recorded from every edit, all the way back to the original photographer. Viewers can inspect the content's full provenance history to see the additional information about each edit. If edits are made in a system without the C2PA specification, then the consumer is notified by a missing or incomplete message in the content credentials. C2PA also uses a failsafe for recovery in case of the malicious or accidental stripping of provenance information. It can always be recovered and matched again to the photo. By comparing the changes made along the way, viewers get a more complete picture of how the content came to be.